Yeah. Heck, man. Birds and pickers ain't got nothing on me, man. Hello, my fellow junkers, scrappers, resellers. Welcome back to the show. Oh. Today, this man, I'm kind of clipping my way into here so I can see, man, all this stuff. Um, but today, I'm digging, we're kind of doing a, still working on putting, uh, you know, getting this cell together. Um, so hopefully this week, if we get it all, all our ducks in line this week or next week, whatever, kind of plan it, plan as it comes, hoping to do it. This week, um, so going through, man, we're doing like a sweep, man, for one corner. I'm going to go all the way through, through these. I'm actually going to end up jumping over, and I'll take you over there, too, is jumping over to, uh, over there, the cook shack, or, uh, that area between the cook shack and this little shop thing here, and going to be going through some littles and stuff over there. Uh, I'm going to throw up a easy up frame, you know, with the easy up and put a little canopy and stuff. The sun, it's not supposed to be too warm today. Got a couple of hot days coming in the next couple of days, but, uh, man, it's just busy, <laughs> crazy busy, man. Life of a, life of a jumper, man. Um, I'll show you, you know, today I want to talk about preparing for uh, flea markets and yard sales. You know, how we prepare, you know, the way we do it. You might like it. it might be uh, not how you do it, but it's how we do it. So we'll show some of that. Right now, I'm just, right now, man, I'm just trying to cut my way into rusty gold under all this stuff. And then get some of this cleared out. But, man, I just want to sweep it out. This is part of, uh, see that there? i got to get that pulled up. My hummingbird feeders are up here and they're buzzing my head because they're empty. Oh, and then man, over, I'll probably put it on the next video over at, uh, on the Idaho Hillbilly channel, but I got a uh, hummingbird's nest in there and I was trying to get my camera so I could see down in the nest you know, without disturbing it. And man, she's buzzing my head and stuff like that, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get in, but I did get some footage of her flying in and sitting on her nest and stuff that I'm going to put on Idaho Hillbilly. That was pretty dang cool, but I'm not going to disturb it. That's funny, she made it. Because up in the racks, man, I've got, I don't know, probably 20 or 30 fishing poles up there. And she actually made this little tiny nest right on the end of a fishing pole. And I don't know if they come back and use a, I actually need to get on Google, or one of you guys can tell me if they come back and use the same nest every year, like next year, will they come back if it's still there? Because if so, man, I'll sacrifice that fishing pole for that, for that hummingbird nest. But that's pretty cool. Anyway, man, I'm going to take you, um, I'm going to keep clipping this, but here in a minute when I go over there and we start going through, uh, so we're going to do a little pricing, do a little organizing, stuff like that, and we'll talk, like I said, talk about getting prepared to do, uh, you know, because we're preparing right now to do the this big yard sale, and then, which I'm taking, the thing about, uh, I guess I'll talk a little bit about it right now, but the thing about, uh, um, you know, doing yard sales and... The difference in yard sales and flea markets, or swap meets, whatever you want to call them, <coughs> is out of the yard sale. Especially in our county, man, because it's a poor county. You know, of course, you get some of the tourists and some of the people going through. But, um, you know, the local people in our county, you know, they ain't got a lot of money, man. They ain't looking for, uh, you know, rusty gold around here, man. They just go out in their back field, you know. They don't, it's not a popular, you know, or a big money thing up here. Um, like if I take my stuff down to the city, man, I'd hand out the rusty gold, you know, the farm implements and all that kind of stuff, like they're going out of style. Where up here, people are more after usable, man, like, uh, up here, and we've talked about doing it before, is transporting furniture. Because furniture and end tables and, you know, all that stuff up here, and cars, you know, and tires, you know, stuff like that up here, usable stuff is what, you know, 
us country folks and you know in the middle of nowhere people are looking for not decorations and stuff like that so the difference so what I was getting at is the difference uh, the stuff that I'm putting together to go over to this yard sale with um, we'll haul it out there do the sale you know sell the stuff and then when I go to pack up after this sale we will separate the stuff for the flea markets you know, or the next flea market or the next yard sale or whatever will be separate. You know, you have your flea market, antique show type stuff here. You'll have your um, yard sale crap stuff here. You'll have, you know, and then of course I'll have the stuff that is just going to the, that I'm going to donate or whatever too. So that's kind of a, kind of the gist of it. But anyway, man, check back here in a minute. We'll be over there. Okay, man, we're having some, some camera issues because of the sun, Lighting. the bright, and then we got the shade. As you can see, we threw up a, a little easy up frame, pulling out a bunch of our, uh, um, you know, and I've said before, man, I've been doing flea markets since I was 15, so over, what is that, over 35 years? Are you trying to tell your age? Yeah, over 35 years, and me and Miss Kitty have been doing them um, for the last 30 years, or 29 years, we'll be married this year, next, actually in a week or two, yeah, I'm going to take you out and buy you something pretty. Oh, <laughs> nice. But I wanted to show this little box. This is one of our tools for sales. It's like a, nope. a rubber you can use made. It for anything you can you can stand on it carefully. You can sit on it. Um, it has two locking handles on each side, plus the center handle there. Um, top comes off, just single top. How about there? Small tray. That's where all our next one. That's yeah, where all our sharpies, sharpies price tags. Tray. Usually we use it. I got the masking tape in there. Couple little things. An old pistol. Small pair of scissors. Um, a piece of thread. Some, a roll. There's some oils in it. Or no, that's that's dice. dice. Oh yeah, it's because we like dice. to play. Yeah, we play yeah. dice. Um, tools, add pliers, tape measure, safety pins, hooks. Funny, I always gotta look through here because I haven't mean, looked in here since the last flea oh, market. That was last some, year. Some glasses. Ooh man, I need those right here. Yeah. Okay, so there's that one. This one is a little bit deeper. Uh, in there we've got some. Um, uh, snack things. Um, these are oh, bamboo spoons, salt and pepper, uh, that kind of thing. And then at the very bottom, you can put um, miscellaneous larger items. We always got to look too because we always uh, oh, I don't we'll buy there. things and stick them in here and forget yeah, about it. Like this. Oh, yeah, like that. Yeah, look at yeah. that. Man, that's pretty. Yeah, so there's some glass. stoppers inside this tub. So this this tray sits down right about here. So you got about that much room in the bottom. Great little toolbox. Basically, a box of tools for this the tray. Electrical tape. So yeah, we got four sharpies right here. Sweet. I got this one in my pocket. Sorry. <laughs> Just getting prepared, man. We got yeah. a lot, a lot of stuff. Oh, that's something I was gonna touch base on too, man. You know, and um, my opinion, like I said, man, you may agree with me or not, but it's the way I do it. Um, but in my opinion, we like to price everything. Um, if I go into a sale, and I mean, actually, the sale that I took you on down there, my two old boys you know my two favorite old boys down there in Weezer um, neither one of them price their stuff there'll be a few things priced but they don't they don't price their stuff yeah. and a guy I mean us when we go in there you know especially as resellers man I want to know the price of everything and I don't want to have to ask because we might as well just grab hands man me and the, whoever owns the stuff we might as well walk through how much is that how much is that? How much is that? <laughs> oh, yeah, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> but seriously, yeah, I mean, totally, yeah. you know, we want to, I want to know the price of everything because when I'm going through, if there's something that I've never, you know, sold or, uh, you know, whatever, right. seen, whatever, man, right. you know, or it's not in my, uh, even, you know, as far as electronics <laughs> and video games, you know, I go in, I'm not a, a video game, you know, connoisseur, seller guy, I don't, you know play them sometimes but I don't know that much about them but if I go in you know and there's you know Mario Kart and you know this and that and man they're a buck a piece I'm gonna buy them all you yeah. know but it's got to say that but if they're sitting there and they're not priced I probably won't even ask yeah, right because man I ask the people right. so much that right. it gets old so right. us we like to price everything you know so that's and it makes a lot of work out of it um as far as the stuff that we're going through now, as we start going through these piles, 
Um, we're not going to take, you know, I mean, there might end up being a few things, but very few things that are going to go on to eBay will we take out to this yard sale. Oh, you know, yeah. Because you'll never get the kind of money right. at a yard sale. You do it at the flea markets and antique shows sometimes, not as much on some things, but mm -hmm. you do better at the flea markets and yard sales than, or I mean, at the flea markets and antique shows mm -hmm. than you will at the yard sales. Yep. I have to say, everybody um, can get a different price for different things. So if we pick something up and say, I can get better money for this on eBay, that doesn't mean, or, or I'm t sending this to the yard sale because I don't feel like I can get max dollar for this. That doesn't mean that somebody that doesn't specialize right. in pepper mills can't get max dollar for this. Right, right. And that's, I mean, we've seen that even with our, because right. uh, my kids, you know, they all sell on eBay too. And it's funny because certain things they'll just bring to us, right. you know, to sell, yes. you know, just like I would take like game players video and video and games and all that stuff I would stuff. take to them, you know, and then yeah. we just split it, you know, right. that's, we just kind of go back and forth on that mm -hmm. because, you know, you have your own market, you have your right. niche, you know, and right. everything, and if you're, you're just starting in this, mm -hmm. that's what you want to do, man, is figure out your niche, what interests you, Yeah. you know, that's the thing, man, obviously, man, mine's all, you know, rusty gold, I love my rusty implements and rusty anything, um, fishing stuff, knives, um, hatchets, axes, uh, yard tools, rakes, hose, right. you know, I mean, I like right. that old, so you know, but it's got to be the old stuff. So say we came across a, a bunch of um, jewelry, that's not something that either him or no. I would... Um, but my son will be all over it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. yes, he would. And he makes a lot of money, yeah. man, buying, you know, just little, little chunks of, you know, one earring that's gold and stuff, man, and, you yeah. know, and he takes this much in. I sit out there all day sweating my butt off or listing stuff on eBay, you know, for whatever money. And he'll go in there, you know, with one little handful and throw it down there and make as much as I made putting all that right, time into it. Right. And I do, we do. Miss Kitty obviously yeah. does. But he just has a amazing eye. When he sees really something, he can look at it and silver. say, I know 100% that that is gold. Or I know 100% silver. Or this could be. So right. he can pull that out and have it tested. Right. You know, we do it. Us, I mean, yeah. yeah. Well, we do it. We got the not as Not as stuff. good as yeah. he is. Well, and I just, it yeah. doesn't, it, it, you know, that's the thing is it's got to interest you right. or you're going to just make this into a, a job. You know, right. this is me or, you know, or us on it, obviously, is how we pay and make a living for the homestead. But it's, you know, it's my passion. Kitty, mm -hmm. she loves the junk and stuff. She's loving going through this because... It's good and gone. Yeah, because from the back right. of the cabin all the way out to the area that I'm turning into the boneyard out here, we're doing a clean sweep through this whole thing, mm -hmm. clearing out, stacking up, organizing, you know, all this, and selling and turning mm -hmm. it, you know, into money. And that's the name of the game right there. Mm -hmm. We're going to start going through this, but I just wanted to put something out there. That's what we're up to today. I'll probably show, uh, you know, as we start, yeah, I'm just going to film us sitting here pricing the stuff, stuff, you right. know. But, uh, and we've got that hole, I don't even know if you can see, I can see the building, but that hole where the windows are there, man, that's, uh, yeah. I mean, it's just loaded with yeah. stuff. Yep. So uh, check out the links below. Make sure you swing over say howdy over at the Idaho Hillbilly page. And please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And good Lord willing and the cricks don't rise. You will see us when you see us. <laughs> see ya. I think.